What's up, everybody? This is Tim with LiveCaseBreak.com. We have NT. It's release night. Let's get ripping. This is case one. We run these back to back. We got four tonight. Case two is filling up now. Nice blue on blue this year. Ooh. Sharp. It was case three, silly goose. Labeled it in the stack. Of course, we're going to label it one. Make sure side cam's all good. Ugly ass wires showing on screen. I wish I could figure out a way to get rid of those. Why? Panini says it. You guys remember when they used to make these out of cherry wood? And they smelled so good. They don't smell as good. They smell like lacquer thinner and paint. Beautiful display boxes. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and get all these out. Get all the little minis out and we'll go right through it. Dave, did you like that? Did you like the sexy foam in your shipment? <laughs> I thought you might like that. I even labeled it so you knew which box had the sexy foam in it. We have no uh, pregnant packs yet. All standard size NT packs so far. Oh yeah, there's back seal too. Could be a pregnant pack. That's a little bit. A little fat. A little fat. Do those come with the Honus Wagners or without them, Chet? I couldn't remember. The, the bat knobs. <laughs> As spoken by a what? What did he say? As spoken by a Canadian. <laughs> you gotta hit the cards to get the top loaders. I'm digging this color scheme this year. I don't even remember what the hell last year's was. Ooh, that looks real fat. Oh, boy. Oh, we got a fat pack. We got a fat, fat box. Hopefully a treasure chest. Treasure chest. We'll save the treasure chest fatty till the end. Let's do the two skinnies. All right. And that's all an NT case comes down to is right here. All this goodness. Got a big old book on the bottom of that one. Let's get old gorgeous Gwen to do the reveals tonight. Why not? Let's bring her back. Okay, good luck everybody. Well, it's gonna go real quick now. Danny, so you'll be glad I took my time a little bit. Two relics right back to back. Very first, we have Evan Gaddis, Colossal for the Braves. Game used jersey for the Braves. He hasn't played there in two years. A little weird. Three out of 99. <laughs> he is a football player, Steven. A pog. <laughs> Are you looking for pogs, Mike? Adam Duvall out of 99 Colossal. So two jumbo game used. Cincinnati and the Braves on the board first. Is it a redemption? It is not a redemption. Okay. 
Gary Sanchez again. No, that was Gaddis. Never mind. 73 out of 99. So the Yankees on the board early for Carlos. 73 out of 99. Pinstripes. And we got sideways. Yogi Berra and Mickey Mantle for the Yankees. Damn, that's filthy. Yogi Berra, game used white. Tiniest little sliver of a navy pinstripe right there in the bottom. So small. And game used bat for Mickey. 1950s all decade team. That is freaking sweet. Danny, I was confused before I even started to open it, dude. Yogi and Mickey. Carlos, nice start for the Yankees, man. Sanchez pinstripe obviously isn't much compared to this beauty. Yogi and Mickey, sweet. Some nice highlight scans tonight. All right, next two cards, both sideways. Second baseman, Bert Campanaris. Is that 84, I can't even read that. 64 out of 99, God, I'm blind. Uh, Oakland A's, Jose. Burt Campanaris. Joe, is Burt Campanaris a Hall of Famer? You're my foremost authority on Hall of Famers. I'm going to guess no, since it doesn't say. <laughs> he played all nine positions in one game. He was the first player to ever do this. That's pretty damn cool. Alright, Campanaris, underneath that is... Those are nice. Sam Travis out of 99 timelines. Only set that I wish they did on card ink. Some of the guys do have on card ink. Majority of these guys are stickers on the timelines though. 20 out of 99, Sam Travis. Okay. Book underneath. Eloy Jimenez, autograph with pinstripes. Is that on card? That is on card. Chicago. So this is going to be fun. 17 out of 99. We'll have to look at the official um, official Panini checklist. See if he's listed as a Cub on the Panini checklist or a White Sox. Looks like Cubs colors on there. Obviously does not look like White Sox colors. Which sucks. Should be White Sox, but that's Panini. <laughs> yeah, Sam definitely tested the pen. This thing working? Is it on? Holy nasty card coming up next. So Jimenez, we'll verify that in between breaks, figure out what team he goes to. I'm guessing Cubs since it's Cubs, but we'll see what Panini says. Okay. Gorgeous Gwen reveals our first logo, one of one of NT this year, Braden Shipley. Arizona Diamondbacks. Eddie G. Nice car, dude. 101 Platinum. Little Majestic logo. If this was Leaf, it'd be the Majesty logo. For those of you guys that remember that Trinity break the one night. <laughs> nice card. Beauty. Braden Shitley. That's not very nice, Chad. What if this was like Josh Bell? Would you have a pun for him then? Best breaking pitch! <laughs> the best breaking pitch in AAA by Baseball America. That's funny. Alright, Shipley, one of one. I agree, Craig. I agree. But they can't technically not notate the teams. LCB rules if there is no team posted on the checklist, he would go to his current team. So, in that event, the White Sox might get that Eloy. Here's the book. Andrew Benintendi for the Sox. Nice box for Boston right there. Kim. That was you, Kim. Yep. Benintendi. Beauty. Josh Bell drops bombs. <laughs> Alright. Benny. Very nice. 46 out of 99. Boom. One box down, and it even had a book in it. It wasn't a fat pack. I already cut this. Another 
another book. Did they do the uh, books per box again this year? I'm assuming. We'll go first three cards here. Mr. Conforto. Joe, you're on the board. Jumbo jersey. 79 out of 99. Career hits. Wow. That's really cool. They finally put him as a J in a product. Holy crap. It's amazing. 16 out of 25. Paul Molitor. What is the Sabres pun? I don't get it. Did I miss that night? I must have missed that night. So Legends, 3,319 career hits. Game used bat for the Jays. Steve R, PC for you, my friend. And this card is back this way. Third card in the box. Anthony Keith Gwynn Sr. 74 out of 99. That is a interesting name. Little Padres mojo for uh, Robin? Robin or Lauren? Which one grabbed that? Robin grabbed them. 74. I know who you're looking for with the Padres. That's a nice relic. Full name mojo. That is definitely what calls when the wife, uh, or when the wife calls, Eddie. Is it Tony? Alright, next couple cards. There's a Conforto. Got our first redemption. Oh, gorgeous, Gwen. Larry Doby for the Indians out of 49. 38 out of 49. Hey, that's all you, man. Game used bat of Larry Doby. National Treasures greatness. Here's a redemption. Damn. Benintendi. Kim. Crushing the first case. Players collection signatures. I have no clue what that's number two. No clue. Players collection signatures. I have the checklist up. Let me just take a look. Oh, let's take a look. Okay. Players collection. Alright. Autograph relics and parallels. It might be just a base out of like 99, Ken. Something like that. And bottom card is out of 10. Mike Napoli. God, that looks sweet. 7 out of 10. Those are the main ones that popped on the sell sheet for me. Uh, they got a lot of veterans and uh, newer players to sign for that set. It's freaking sweet. Texas is on the board. Last team purchased Danny. No skunk for you. Benny being very nice to you, Kim. 7 out of 10 on the Napoli. Okay, Ben and Tendi. Let me just mark that Red Sox. Okay, three cards left in this box. We got CJ Edwards. 99 for the Cubs. Dave, there you go. Yeah, I just did a video tonight, John. I'll upload it at the end of the night. Your Harper Redemption came in. It was out of 15. 93 out of 99 for the Cubs. Six swatch signatures. Next up we have... Ooh, run, Ricky, run! Streaky auto, though. Four out of 15, Oakland Jose. PC for you. Really low number. Jumbo, uh, jumbo cut. We have a Legends cut signature book, it looks like. It's either a cut signature book or a jumbo relic coming up. And a little smudge on the H, unfortunately. Actually, pretty good about that. Maybe they'll replace it. I like the black ink on that. That looks sharp. That's what the Colossals look like. Boo for the smudge. Jose, all you, man. All right, here's the book. It is a Legends Cut Booklet Materials. And it goes to... Sticky Ricky. <laughs> Damn, that looks sweet. Dave Concepcion for the Cincinnati Reds. That's out of 10, Corey. Beautiful, big, fat, jumbo paint stripe slash patch. That's a cool looking book. 
Pops with those colors. Nice. All right, two boxes down, two left. This is case one for anybody that is keeping score at home. And we do have a very fat pack hoping for a treasure chest there. Here we go. Last two books, or last two boxes, rather. Really sick looking card on the top. A lot of fat cards in this box. Value! I told you guys, if you stay up late with us tonight, you're going to get some value on some of these teams. We get a patch timeline. I've always loved this set for Menti. One of the few that I actually like. Boom. David Dahl. Look at those patches. 5 out of 10. Colorado is Allen on the Dahl. That's pretty. That's a jumbo number, it looks like. Possibly nameplate, too. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more on these. Go, like, to there. Yeah, get nice and close. There we go. A little better on the zoom, I think. 5 out of 10 on the doll. All right. Next couple cards. We'll go three in a row here. Make it four in a row. Why not? All right, gorgeous Gwen. Miggy out of 25 game use bat gold. Tigers on the board. Greatness, Phil Rizzuto out of 10 game use jersey. That's pretty sweet. Yankees doing work. And what do we got here? Damn, that's the RPAs. Oh my god, those look nice. Total whammy of Mitch Hanniger, unfortunately. John H., that's a beautiful card. So there's your silver RPA this year out of 10. We got Mitch Hanniger. Obviously, we want some Judge and some Bellinger. Not, not Mitch Hanniger. Beautiful three-color patch. Black ink on those, on card autos. They killed it on the design on those. Next card, upside. JD! Oh, I miss so many JDs when I don't take the J's. Steve, congrats, dude. 13 out of 99. Game used bad at Donaldson. Sticker on it. Treasure Signature Materials is that set. 13 out of 99 on the JD. And we have three cards left. Top card is another Mariner out of 99. Guy does not sign that often. Kyle Seeger. 45 out of... <laughs> no Lisa Ann and Tara Patrick. I can't believe they left them off the checklist, man. On card auto on that Seeger. 45 out of 99. John H. again. Machado is a redemption. You need me to find more? I didn't even notice you bought Baltimore, dude. Woo! There's the first one! Well, one team just paid off. Not the RPA. 16 out of 99. Aaron Judge on card. Three game used jersey relics. Two colors. Black and gray. That card is pretty damn nice looking. 16 out of 99, so no jersey number. That'll be fun for the jersey number on that one, 99 out of 99. Spanky's Carlos, congrats, dude. You were probably sitting on pins and needles there. He had a couple nice cards. Hit the big one, though. That'll work. Nice hit. And the book on this side is another Legends cut. This one's out of 25. Looks like the silver. The other one we had was the gold. And it is Johnny Mize. That is a really cool looking book. Cardinals Mojo. Robin. No Ozzy Smith for you. Hopefully you were a Johnny Mize fan. Are you think I could sell a dog turd for 299 bucks? Depends on the dog, Chad. What kind of uh, what kind of dog is it? Hall of Famer Johnny Mize. Thank you, Joe. I was about 90% sure. But I didn't say it just because that 21% or 20% was sticking in my head. That's a nice card. Johnny Mize. Canton Poodle? I don't think I could do that. I don't think I could do that. Uh, you would have to ask Robin if that's for sale. All right, this last box, super fat, as you can tell. And that's not fake. It's not a fake fatty. Not cut. There we go. 
Time to sharpen the old LCB uh, knife here. We want a treasure chest! <laughs> Canton Poodle. We don't want cards falling out of the top. Woo! That's a big ass book on the bottom. Definitely got a treasure chest on the bottom. Sweet! One case in. Treasure chest time. Okay. Grab the first couple cards. We'll go four cards in this time. Gorgeous Gwen! Daniel Murphy for the net, so Washington is on the board out of 25. Game used white jersey. Frank Thomas out of 25 for the White Sox, a little pinstripe. 10 out of 25. And greatness, Kirby Puckett relics, oh my god. Is it not awesome to see Kirby Puckett in a product, finally? 18 out of 25. I think every Twins fan ever has said this at one point. I'd love to see Kirby in products, even if it's just game used. 18 out of 25, puck it. Tim, I posted in the Facebook group. I commented to your link, or your comment, but you must have missed it. Yeah, you got the Cardinals in two. And bottom card, Carson Fulmer for the White Sox. Frank Thomas book, or uh, Frank Thomas pinstripe relic in the former in this box for them. 69 out of 99 on the pocket. It's a really cool looking card too. The old school Twinkies jersey on there. Decent photoshopping job. Can't even tell. That's a really nice card. Uh, the book is a triple player, by the way. And look at that beauty. Juan Moncada, 98 out of 99. Nick Bro! White Sox, man. Solid break, dude. 98 out of 99, Windy City. Next up we have, out of 15, team Braves finally get hits. It's been a while since we've seen Braves hits. 13 out of 15 on the Freddie Freeman. That's on card. That fooled me. Material Inc. Triple color patch for the Braves. Mike P. Mike P. Boom. Toke up another one? <laughs> and... Damn. That's freaking filthy. Cincinnati had a solid break too. Five out of ten. I assume that's an RPA style for the ones out of ten, but I think we had one earlier that was different. Totally different. Let's see what that says on the back. Okay, that's the rookie jersey signatures. I think the other ones are the RPAs. 5 out of 10, Amir Garrett for the Cincinnati Reds. Corey, that's all you, man. And our final card. 39 out of 99, triple player materials booklet. So this is not a treasure chest. Boom. Look like a treasure chest. No hints on the front. 39 out of 99. You guys ready? Yeah, I always forget that rule, Chad. You know this. Benintendi is the first guy. And you guys see the others. Whoo, tiebreaker time. Bellinger and Hap. Actually, no tiebreaker. Dave, you got the Cubs and the Dodgers. Yep, that goes to you. Two-thirds ownership. Bellinger, Hap. Benny, nice book. All game used jumbos. Beautiful. Colored napkins at least, Chad. No treasure chest. Thought for sure there's a treasure chest. It's a nice looking card. I uh, I would hope they have autographed versions of these. I would hope. All lefties? Yeah, all lefties. Cap's kind of the odd one on there. I mean, Bellinger and Ben and Ben and Tendi had monster years. Hap, kind of part time, a little odd. Nice card though. All right, that one goes to you, Mr. Bach, and that is the end of case one. Let me just verify real quick on the Panini checklist if Eloy was a cup. That was the only card in question. 
Okay, link for case two right here. I'm gonna up the discount in one minute. There's the link. Discount is going up right now, 15% right off the bat. Boom, go. 10 to 15, there you go. Somewhere under 20 teams left. Lauren, you got the Marlins in case two. Thank you. You are all set. Okay. I know somebody said that Eloy was a uh, cub on the actual checklist. Just making sure here. No update on the BGS 60, John. The average, they did announce a... Uh, they announced the average on the 60-day non-guaranteeds is 87 days. That's the average. So we may be looking at another month, dude. I know every, I explained that to everybody before we did it, but I just want to make sure you guys know. Alright, what was that, Eloy? Alright, what PCS. Material signature. Cubs, Cubs, Cubs. PCS would be Players Collection. It's looking like the Eloy is a Cub on the official Panini checklist, guys. So Dave Bach, you get that. He's trying to find the actual card on here. Pulling his wizard? Oi. Do I even want to ask Charles? Or should I just let that pass? Material paint. God, this checklist is massive. There it is. Player's collection. Eloy Jimenez Cubs. Yep. Okay. Him and a cup. Stupid beanie. Mr. Box break was saved by the book at the end. We got three cases left. There'll be some deals here. Deals, deals, deals. Razor sending Garrett Whitley to play for the Perth Heat. Boom. 